Okay, welcome to this video. Welcome to the to the second part of uh, voice notifications. We started talking about this in the last video in this channel. Um, today, I, I brought a a better demonstration. Uh, in the last video, we just got some screenshots, and um, and that's bad. But you know, I just got the uh, the SDK two is working properly, and I got this emulator. Um, and yeah, even though it has some issues, but we can we can demo here. So uh, if you remember, we have an application uh, that is our Note Five or or die, and we are just starting this application here as a real shed because. For some reason, I can't see in this emulator. I can like uh, search for applications. I'm doing something uh, really bad here. Um, but okay, that's our app. We have this notify me that you remember it notifies us. I just added this new button here for review token, just in case it changes. But it didn't change since our last video. Uh, and that's what it does. Let me get the lock at here. So. I would just uh, review token, then I just just get the the SCM token as we demonstrated in the last video, but not for real. And uh, in this proper demo, I wanted I want to send some messages, so I can send this test message. That's the token. I'll just send a test mission, and hopefully, it's going to work. If if it doesn't, I have a prepared video. So, uh, <laughs> but it worked. So we have this hello pips, and when I touch this, it, it's a foreign ground foreground message, and I can test again with the when the apps in the background is not even open. Uh, I got this this notification, and it opens the app, and it prints on launch that as we as we did in the application, uh, and it can be in the in the background. It's open, but it's in the background, and then I send I send the real hello test and. Okay, I just received that, and then I touch, and it's on resume. So these are all the categories we mentioned in the last video, uh, and that's what will make you to stop doing that stuff that is send sending uh, real notifications to real users, since you can have your test test token, and then you can make your tests here. So yeah, yeah, you can do your experiments, and uh, a little thing that I didn't do. And I'm sorry for that. Was to like to, to provide a repository, uh, but it's done now. You can go to GeekSilver 97, 97. That's me. Yeah, that's me. And you go to YouTube. The repository is YouTube, and you 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 will be able to see both the Flutter app we're using for that, and the notification server that we we're going to talk about in a few minutes. So uh, you can you can get both and make your limitation. Of course, it's missing some information that you, you will have to provide. So like the the all these IDs you have to provide for your own application. So just just ensure that you follow the the whole the whole process that's provided for you by the Firebase team when you create a product and when you select Flutter as your platform. Okay. So that's it. So I'm gonna ask for people to add this to the YouTube. If not, if I can't, I I can put in the comments this URL here. But you know, it's really easy to get this. Um, today we're going to talk about the server. So it's really great to have our application working, but sometimes it's not very useful to have to send messages from that from here, where I have to. Uh, provide like in this case test, but I can target here. You can select an app and okay, uh, and that's great. But sometimes you wanted to make something more uh, powerful, like this notification has some really simple details, like a title, a text. Uh, I can have an image, but the point is that you you can add much more details if you go to to see the docs about notifications 
it can have many information in Android, for example. And it's also different for iOS. So for basically messaging work, works for both, uh, but each, each platform has its own uh, characteristics. So maybe you wanna show a notification in a specific way for Android and another way for iOS. And for from here, we can do that. We just have these fields, but we have this, it's, it's possible. So for that, we can use even either the REST API for, for, let me get here, for messaging that we have basically the legacy one, that's the most to use today. So if you go to set up it on one signal, for example, you see that it will provide you a tutorial so you can enable the legacy API again. But you know, it's a legacy. So maybe you wanna try to use this new one that's more more likely a, a GRPC and yeah, but you know, both works for now and you can make your choice. Uh, if you if you don't want to do this, you don't want to like maybe maybe you need to do that. But just in case one of your languages you were working on is either Node.js, Java, Python, uh, Go or using .NET, that's C Sharp. So if, if, if your language is one of that, it, you're great. You have an SDK that you can use and that's amazing. If not, I don't know if you're using Ruby, Elixir or any other language, you will need to, to rely on, on this. Of course, maybe there, there are a bunch of gems or packages out there for that. So yeah, you're fine maybe. Uh, for today, we're going to show how to implement that using Python. Uh, why? That's just because that's what I did when I when I worked with the the SDK. So uh, I used Python. That was we were using that time, and yeah, I just didn't want to to re recreate everything. <laughs> so uh, let's check this. Basically, uh, Firebase SDK is a is a is a tooling that you can use to to build. Uh, server, um, I mean, server kind of kind of server application for Firebase. So it like, and then you have all the products here, like Firebase Auth, credentials, DB storage, Firestore, and then you have all all that things. And then of course we have messaging. And for messaging, uh, it's really 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 cool. Like we have all the classes here, and that's great. And uh, we have the functions we can use. For example, we have a send function that receives a message and then we can see what the message, a message is and I can see that. So I can go to message, then I get this and that's message has a data and notification. And then I have the details of what's going on. And here, the, it's, 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 it, it, we can see the, the differences, you, you know, like we have the data that's optional. Okay, uh, we have the notification that's the base notification, we're, we're going to see that. And we have the specific ones for each platform. We have Android, we have Web Push, and you know, worth mentioning that uh, Firebase Cloud Messaging, the FCM works as well for web. Even though we are not showing that here, it works, okay? Uh, and it has APN that is for iOS, okay? So and each each of, of each class has its own, uh, let me see, okay its own uh, details. So Android config has its own details and you have to provide them like this Android notification has a bunch of things like the sound that will, that will uh, be in your notification, the click action. Uh, I used that in the early days, we needed to use that and provide a flutter action click. Don't ask me why, but yeah, we used to do that. Uh, and yeah, we have a bunch of things here. And it's it's basically based on that and draw notifications. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, we, we can have many you know, we can have buttons and we can have many things on this. So yeah, that's amazing. And I won't like recreate everything from scratch here just to demonstrate to you. And let's go to the to the code because I'm not a crazy person. But what we can have here is just, uh, I just 
put this token mobile here where um, I can provide the token. That's the same, the same I, we got from Logcat. This one, okay. And I'm just calling this send notification. That is basically this function here. Really, really simple. Uh, we use the Firebase admin. That's a dependency. You can I install that using pip. So, uh, and then I got a key JSON. That's that's a, these are the credentials you can get here uh, on settings. So, if you go to project settings, let me see here. That's here. Maybe not here. I don't know why it's not. It's, it's not loading. Oh yeah, it's here. So uh, you you have a a service account, and it will generate you a private key, and then you can use that. Okay. So you download the JSON. It's a JSON file, and you need that. So if you go here, it's basically what we are doing. We're using, we're using credentials. Uh, we are using credentials, and we are initializing our app. It's it's. It's really close to what we do in the front end side, initializing the app. But we're not, we not we don't use private keys. We use something different. Um, and then the send notifications. Um, it just um, I'm using the update here, but it, it's not needed. So yeah, who cares? Uh, but basically, I'm I am preparing the data. Okay, and then. In this case, I'm doing a multicast message. That's another class we have here. Like besides message, we have multicast message. That's that's the best thing, but it, it takes a list of tokens. So you can have multiple tokens here. So uh, even though we have only one, but we can provide a list. And we have some some information here that we're going to see when we receive this this this, this notification. And then we are uh, building the notification message. So we have the notifications, the base things, the basic things like uh, title and message, like title and body. That's the same we see uh, in this uh, messaging form here. So if I go and click to create your first campaign, that's the same thing we're going to see, like title and body, and in this case, some optional things. And then when I go to, to Android, I can provide my my own configuration, my specific configurations for Android. This message, just in case it, it is sent to both uh, uh, iOS and Android, it will, it will appear differently. Like in Android, it would have all these things here, but in iOS, just that, just title and body, the default one, okay? Uh, so I just, I'm just providing some stuff here that you can see at the docs and uh, the documentation is really great about this. So I won't be explaining every single field here. Okay. Um, you can just get in the docs and that that's really amazing. So for example, priority is about notification priority that we can see here as well. Uh, and here's the more, more about how it will be displayed, like how it will appear. Notification. So I define the color for that, for the icon, and we can see that. Okay. Um, so, and then I have the data. We can have a payload in the notification. Uh, that's something that's it's hard to, to have here. Like, that's another limitation. Okay. Uh, let me see this, this additional option. I think we can, we can go through them. Let me see that. Next. Um, okay. Let me select this next. 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 Additional field. Oh, yeah, we have additional fields. Great. Okay, so we can provide custom data here as well. Um, but yeah, then, then that just, that, that, that's it. Like, that just uh, simple like that. So uh, if I go to, I am here, notify me daddy. Uh, let, let's, let's start the virtual end. And then if I go in Python, let me go to search folder because it will try to find the, the key JSON. I will just execute the test FCM and it will send this message like notify me daddy uh, and with two monkeys and let's see. And here we go. You know, notify me daddy, the two monkeys. Let, let's try to change something in this test FCM. Maybe uh, actually here, maybe they call, oh, actually here in in the definition, I call the admin. Uh, let's try to change the color, I don't know. So let's put it in black. Why not? 
Let's see what it works. Okay, I just I just mess it up. So let me let me resend. Okay. I just couldn't see the <laughs> the icon. Yeah, let 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 it let it disappear so I can see here. Okay, for some reason it didn't work the color. I think that's because my application doesn't allow to update the, the color because that depends on the, on the image I am using. Okay. But the 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 interesting thing I, I like to show you is that let me go to log at again. Uh, and let me resend this notification one more time, okay? So let me send here and I'll get that here, right here. Uh, okay, I just got the message and here's the message. Okay, and we have everything we, we sent. The data is here, the email, we have the body, we have types, and we have even those things like the click action uh, uh, where are you? Okay, click action is here. So flood notification and from the sender ID and all those things. It, it it got the color, so maybe the problem is in the in the in the mobile app that's not allowing us to change the to change the 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 color of the icon. I don't like. I, I, honestly, I don't recall. Uh, what's going on in this case but but yeah but yeah uh our server is working and it's great to have service like that servers even though we use services like one signal but uh building your own tool can be useful for some stuff like in this case it was a simple thing we just wanted to send specific notifications when some actions happen so it was an application about delivery i if i recall correctly and when I got your your product, I I I I say to tell to the app, hey app, I, I just got uh, the 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 product and uh, it will send the notif notifications to the to the specific customer. So we had all these things uh, uh, mapped. So when we start an application, we got a token. So we had these tokens for specific users so we could segment these users and that's basically how one signal for example works uh the segmentation is based on some stuff that they they decide so uh that's it but every, everything comes from tokens so you can build your own solution on top of that on top of these tokens and then you can create your devices uh and let's say hey this is device and, it, and this device has a specific tag or a specific, it, it's using a specific version of the, the app. And maybe you want to send uh, a specific notification for a specific version. I don't know, maybe talking about, uh, hey, you should update your version. I don't know. So uh, everything is possible with that. And yeah, and that's very easy, very easy to do. So it's basically to compose your message and just use that. So um actually it went very quick i expected to 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 take some more time but that's it that's it just just uh finishing this like the series about push notifications and then uh just just remembering that you can see everything here okay so just add your information your key get your data and that's it of course you have some firebase setup but that's very simple there are a bunch of tutorials talking about that okay and so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. very quick uh thanks for joining us and hit the subscribe button uh, subscribe button and um and see you bye bye